Hi, I'm Melba and this is my tiny garden. I am going to be growing food on three garden beds. These two round ones and the one on the back that I started planting. I'm going to finish and I will show you that later on. But I'm going to set these up to look beautiful but also give us plenty of food to feed our family, my bunny, quails. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and clean the beds. So I'm going to clean this one and that one is already ready. I have all the plants that I'm going to be doing and I bought that trellis there. I bought two of them for these round beds. They're not as tall. They're a little bit white um, paint so it doesn't look super new and I think they will look a lot better. They have kind of a grill or design where the tomatoes are going to be able to support themselves a lot better. are just starting to produce but I'm gonna have to take them out because I have to plant new stuff in here so I'm a little sad I just ate a couple of them and they were really good mm, that's a bummer but I have to start planting say bye bye We managed to harvest quite a bit of salad greens. It was great. I was super happy with how much we got. It is a little time consuming, but we pretty much clean every single leaf really, really well. And then check for slugs because we have so many slugs. Some of the ones that we have, we had to just discard the entire bundle of lettuce because we had way too many slugs and we still were able to keep quite a bit. This year was crazy with the amount of rain we had. The slugs were all over. And um, I chop it up so it's easy for them to eat and place it on a Ziploc with some paper towels and they last a pretty long time. We love doing this. It saves us a lot of money because that bunny of mine loves having her greens and so does my husband. So we go through a lot of it. I just cleaned the bed and it's pretty good. I take some of the roots out even though it's good to leave them, but my garden is so small, I have to clean it up. All the roots are gonna be too compacted. But I use a general fertilizer that's for garden vegetables. 
biotone on the root when I plant it I make the hole and put that in and then some bone meal and I'm also gonna amend it with some of my fish compost I am going to go ahead and get going on that and then start planting I'm not gonna put a lot just a little bit to amend it on each of the beds I did put a thick layer on the spring just gonna stir this a little bit so it goes all the way down I had also placed some worms in this before I buy worms every season and I put it on my tumbler and I put a few on the beds and so there's nice worms here that will create the worm poop and uh, feed the plants putting the bone meal some general garden fertilizer for vegetables I'm gonna stir this a little a couple of the pansies because usually they last until end of July to August and it has some really nice color and like I said my animals love it and we love it on on, um, on salads okay this is good to start planting I'm gonna place the trellis I bought I'm gonna go ahead and place the trellis that I bought here and that's gonna be great support and also add so much beauty to the garden. The opening is so pretty. The scale is so much better. I think the other one that's so tall looks better uh, like on the ground um, because it's super, super tall. This one has a lot more, it's more sturdy. It has these pieces here that will help with uh, supporting the tomato. And I'm gonna do a string. I'm gonna do the method where I run a string all the way down and I'll show you so that the tomato will grow with just one stem and it doesn't take so much space. Perfect. So now I'm gonna start placing the plants so you can see which are the ones I'm gonna grow. And I'm probably gonna do the same on both, but they're gonna be different pepper types. I'm gonna do uh, squash scallops. They don't take a lot of space and they're delicious. So that will be perfect there. I'm gonna do a super busima petunia and this gives purple flowers that are really large and you can eat them. And then I have a fish button yellow pepper and I'm gonna grow that on this side of the trellis. And I have the, I don't know how you say it, Tox, Tox, the Cero, I'll write it on the, on the screen. That will go over there. And then the tomato I'm growing on this one is gonna be the green giant tomato. And I think it's because I want the orange accordion tomato to go near the rose that's orange over there. I think it would be look really pretty. So this grand giant, we're gonna go there. I'm gonna grow some herbs. So I think I'm gonna do the basil here and a Merlot lettuce to add some color on that other end here. Actually, I'm gonna do this more towards that way. Purple basil there and then this red Merlot on this end. I think that's gonna be it for this bed. I may add another base on this side. I have a parsley here. So this parsley is a little bit bolting. I may have to replace it, but we'll see how it does. I'm gonna go ahead and plant the outside first and then I'll do the inside after. I'm going to use this Biotown starter. It is really good. I really love it. 
I use that every season. So I just like to put just a tiny bit around, mix it, and then go ahead and place my plant. It should go on the root. It really helps settling the root. So I'm just going to get going. I'm planting each one of them the same way. Make sure to go ahead and mix it really well. So I don't know if it burns the root, but I'm always scared that it will damage the root if it's directly placed on there. bug she was going to go work but I scared her I'm gonna do the tomato so I'm gonna dig the hole for the tomato and I'm gonna dig it pretty deep so I can I want to go ahead and place the tomato all the way to here under the ground but I also have to put the string I'll show you what I do to support it and grow only one stem so it doesn't take so much space Before I forget, I'm going to on the tomato with biotone, but instead of putting the soil in, I'm going to put a little bit, just a hand of compost on this one, because they do need a lot of nutrition tomatoes to do well, especially because we start so late here. So, I'm going to test it. Yeah, that's good. But I'm going to get the string and show you how you place it first. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get some string and I'm going to do a double string all the way down into the hole to tie up my tomato as it starts growing. And the reason I do that is because it is a lot easier for me. It doesn't take so much space and they do fabulous. So I'm going to do twice the length so I'm measuring once I do twice the length so it's a little stronger then I'm gonna add another foot or two to go ahead and place in the hole and I'll show you how that works so it's gonna stay really strong like that and straighten out with the weight of the tomato so all I'm doing is I'm placing that in the hole like that and then I'm going to get my tomato and the root of it is going to hold it in place. I'm going to place it down here, make sure it's nice and taut, really firm and I'm going to wrap it around my tomato like such. But again, I'm going to pull it down without breaking a tomato like that and then I'm gonna fill it up and it holds in place and it's an amazing way to save so much space there we go I could have even put that even deeper but I think it's fine there's plenty of it on the bottom that's gonna do fabulous and this is the tomato green giant. I don't think I put some bone meal on it, so I'm gonna scratch a little bone meal in and put even more soil on top. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch this pepper. It's already been getting flowers and I don't want it, but I'm gonna pinch it so that it starts getting bushy. And I'm gonna pinch it a little lower 
in uh, you can't see it but it's already growing on both sides a little stem so now we'll do like the dahlias it'll split right in the center and start growing more stems and get stronger is an orange accordion one side i'm going to do the pepper violet sparkle and this is like a bell pepper i believe and then this is a toxidero i think it's like a red really long sweet again i don't grow anything hot so i'm growing the peppers on the opposite side before I, on the other one i grew them here and back there I'm gonna move this pansy here because there were two on the other bed and then I'm gonna get uh, purple basil over here okay let's get going planting The string is ready. I'm gonna dig the hole. First, I'm gonna take all the bottom leaves because I wanna bury this as deep as possible to make more roots out of this here. It'll grow a lot more roots and be even stronger. Throw the string in there. This plant is going to be so happy. It's been in this thing forever. There we go. And then I want to, I want to make this really tight, as tight as possible. Oop. Whoop, whoop. Start tying it up. As it grows, I keep wrapping it around. And I keep control of that one stem. Okay. This is my favorite tomato, the orange accordion. It's delicious and absolutely stunning. I'll put an image of it. A photo so you can see it. It's just really pretty. Swiss char red ruby and Swiss char four foot giant. I'm gonna do the giant in the center and this red ruby I'm going to do on the corners of the bed. 
Okay, so I found the seatlings, uh, the root ruby and the fork hood, fork hook uh, giant chard. So I'm gonna do the fork hood back here of the seatlings. And because it is so large, I am, this doesn't even have the true leaves, but I'm gonna put it in anyway. In front of them, I'm gonna put two peppers. One is the Chardonnay, which is my favorite bell pepper. And this one is a lemon pepper. It's the first time, lemon dream pepper. It's the first time I am growing this one. I'm gonna snip all the flowers off. So I don't want the strength to go to try to make fruit right now. I want them to get settled. I'm not putting anything on this soil because I have already amended the soil really well. 